On this episode of Replay, we're taking a look at Rareware's Banjo-Kazooie, an old N64 game that uh, I loved. I gave it a 9.25 out of 10. Uh, I'm your host, Andrew Reiner. I have Tim Turry with me. Hello. Tim, you're a big Banjo fan, right? Yeah. This, this song's great. You even know all the voices. Uh, I know a good chunk of them. And Dan Reichert. Hey there. He's going to be playing the game for us. And then we have Ben Hansen. I hear, Ben, that you have uh, some weird, a weird take on this game. or I don't know about weird, but there's an ongoing debate Shut between up, Dan and Tim. And I, I'm sorry, Tim's rocking out. We should, too. Flute. Play that flute. This oh. is a pretty awesome intro. Just to dive right in. Like, F it. Let's enjoy some music. I love it. Kazooie was not amused with that. No DK rap. <laughs> Look at they're, they're up. He's upstaging them. Get out of here, Mumbo. Banjo plays a banjo. Kazooie plays a kazooie. I'm not called a kazooie. Uh, in this game, it is. In this it universe, is? it is. I don't know if you've oh, okay. read any of the, the novels. <laughs> well, that's Miller. Is there any context for this scene? Is this it's coming fun. up again at the end, or is it just completely out of context? Just it's like a Tarantino movie. We're going to get back to this. Yeah, a lot of crap happens, and then we wind up back here. <laughs> you don't want to know what hap- who that xylophone is. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. kind of spoilery. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, so the interesting thing, like, when this game came out, uh, right before Rare released this game, they released Diddy Kong Racing, which was pretty much a wholesale ripoff of Mario Kart. And then this came out, and it was like, they're paying attention to Miyamoto and his team again with a very Mario 64S title. Although you have to give them credit for something they did with another character from Diddy Kong Racing, Conker, which was originally Conker's 12 Tales, which actually some gameplay footage just recently came out. And it was going to be the Mario 64 Again, clone, but yep. they obviously went a different route. And, and it was also much give better them credit for, for hovercrafts, which are the coolest vehicle on Earth. Diddy Kong Racing is a fantastic game oh, yeah, for as no much as they ripped off Mario Kart. I mean, but other games have ripped off Mario Kart before. And Diddy Kong Racing actually was the debut of Banjo. He was uh, a playable character in that. And Kazooie, technically, he was wearing the backpack. Oh, he was? Yeah. In the same cart? Yeah. Okay. He just didn't come out. Well, hang on. Here's an interesting, interesting thing. Let's pull the room here, Jason, including uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day or Banjo Kazooie. What is the better game? I say Conker. Uh, Banjo Kazooie. Jason, Jason, saying Banjo. Okay, Hanson. I have played neither. <sighs> I, I, it's a like a dead draw for me. But um, as far as like overall just playability and and how it's aged, I'm gonna give it to Banjo Kazooie. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I agree with Tim 100%. Like, Conquer that first time through was hilarious, but if I had to go back and play another game again for pure gameplay sake, I think the kind of conjoined uh, Banjo and Kazooie uh, dynamic they have here still works well, and it's it's different than anything else out there. I but actually, is it just that Conquerors is so ambitious? Like, Tim, I know you credited for the uh, control scheme before Resident Evil 4 really pulled off the third-person controls yeah. like that. What are some of the other things that you love so much about that game? Oh, Conquerors? Yeah. Uh, I mean, a just while the fourth wall breaking, like it broke the fourth wall consistently. Weird and references. So much, yeah, great references. I mean, it had a it had a Clockwork Orange reference in it <laughs> right away. Book ended <laughs> it right away, and yeah. then it had uh, just all the different varieties of gameplay, uh, and then of course the the Teddy's Beach multiplayer. You know, storming yep. the beach was incredible. Um, also, I want to. I know we we trailed we blazed right past it, but I'm obsessed with the the file selection in this game. Uh, I think this has some like the best file select stuff going on. Like, the music changes based on what you want, what file you're on. And he is even playing a Game Boy and it has 8-bit Banjo-Kazooie music. Also, they did that in Conquer. Remember uh, idle animation? He would pull out a Game Boy and play like a little fighting game. Really? Would mm-hmm. it would it like music change and stuff? Yeah, well, I mean, it would play little sound effects and stuff. Oh, okay. Yep. So the story is basically Snow White. She's... Yep upset she's not the hottest chick in the world and uh one of the coolest things i've seen in this game so far is that when you lose it's not just a game over screen but it plays out that entire scenario of the what if yeah if, if the evil witch wins which is pretty cool so you, you get see too often hot gun tilda exactly which right. is a nice twist on the end yeah also it's, it's terrifying how much that looks like crash bandicoot's sister coco oh it really does it's yeah. identical but younger oh really is it yeah. just like the the dark fur and the blonde hair it's also got a dixie kong yeah it's you know? It's all, it is kind of disturbing <laughs> to have, a, like, a blonde bear. Dan, Banjo. Yeah. Banjo's like you. He has pictures of himself all over his room. That does look like my bedroom, yeah. I actually have a bunch of those head signs that I brought to Raw all over my room. It's I don't know terrifying. why you put your cat in that backpack and hung it on the coat rack by your bed, though. That's a weird way to really have a nest. Yeah, to each his own, you know? I never had a cat before. It's like that Eastbound episode. With a baby, baby in the backpack, backpack with a thing of lettuce. Of lettuce. Yep. <laughs> All right, so, so let's, let's get into the debate here. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm going to explain. 
the unfortunate thing is that it starts off with a big tutorial. So, Sweet. I mean, well, okay. So the debate is: we were, me and Tim were at Hanson's Lake House, and Tim said the absolutely absurd statement that this game is better than Super Mario 64. It is. But to be fair, you tweeted it out, and a majority of people that responded to that tweet agreed with Tim, correct? There were a lot of people that agreed. I will I will say that. I don't think Tim is completely insane. Um, I think it's crazy, because I absolutely love platformers, love 3D platform platformers. I like Rare. I have every reason to love this game. And I played this back in the day when I should have. This wasn't one of the things where it was five years past mm -hmm. its relevancy. Uh, and I rented it a couple times, really just didn't have a desire. Like, I don't think Banjo's as endearing of a character as Mario. I just don't like the world as much. I, I remember being confused a lot, which I think Ben had this issue. Ben, you want to talk about that a little bit? I'm just confused with everything in life in general. But I bought this game looking forward to it because I'm like, oh, this is the perfect lake house game. Every time I come out here in the summer, at night, I can just drink and sit on the couch and play Banjo-Kazooie game. Of Wait, so what year is this? What year is this? Because you're this talking was about the drinking. spring. Oh, so you hadn't played this before the spring? No, I think I'd played it in a McDonald's once when I was a kid. <laughs> what, what the hell McDonald's are you going to? <laughs> Which one did you bring your N64 to? <laughs> <laughs> the McDonald's we didn't have in power. some guy's basement. <laughs> Come down to the playground. No, it was Jeffrey McDonald, my friend. I hope I made that clear. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I started it up and started running around, and the bad thing was that Tim was sitting right next to me. That is usually the bad thing. It's yeah. horrific in every instance. But oh Tim, yeah, he was getting. Tyrant, He's tyranty. enraged because I was confused about where to go, what the controls were like. Yeah. This game lays it out for you so well, and yeah. then you get into an overworld, and then you go into different areas in the overworld, depending on how many things you've collected. This it's is like, the thing that I'm still confused about, because I went back to this game after Tim left, because Tim just screamed at me for two hours. And <laughs> yeah, I, I left the room. I was like, I can't, this is ugly. Hanson deserved it. You should watch him play Banjo Kazooie. This is Dan at the controls. You should watch Ben Hanson do most things, and yeah, he probably walking's, deserves it. it. Walking's really a struggle, but my issue is that I was expecting the Mario 64 hub to level layout, and it's not like that. It, it's very confusing. Sometimes you go inside a level, but a lot of the levels are within the overworld itself. Yeah, Gruntilda's castle is more labyrinthine than it is sprawling, um, for sure. Also, I think there's a lot of weird, like, okay, hold Z, then do this for the beaky barge. It's like, wait, how do I do the thing you where can the... Do, no, it, it's, it's as complicated as doing a long jump in Mario 64, except well, you, you just hold button. Z and hit A. That's, yeah, a different, so that's now, easy. Hit, now hold Z and hit C, or I, I the know, other C. I know. Okay. It's uh, just a long jump is easier to remember to me than like, what the hell is the beaky barge? I don't remember what that does. <laughs> So, Dan, I'm going to go back to an earlier point you made. You said that you find Mario to be a more endearing character. So, yeah. a fat little plumber with uh, a mustache, you like more than a bear with pants? Well, that's the thing. Reiner, okay, Reiner, I'm... Reiner raises a good point, because if there had been an 8-bit banjo, a 16-bit banjo, and they'd all been, and like a handheld one, they'd all been solid games, this would have come out before Mario, and everyone would have said, this is it. Nah, this is it. Visually, he just looks all doofy, and Mario is just like, oh, look at Mario. That's Mario. Yeah, no, he looks like a scholar. He looks like just <laughs> He doesn't a, look like a big dude. Do for the backpack. He's got a giant nose and a dumb mustache. Shut up and look at his swim animation. Look at him <laughs> swim. It's adorable. All right, I'm not going to fight that. No. Gonna fight that. <laughs> and, and Tim, I, I want to make a point here because I, you know, I like fighting for, for what I think about this stuff, but I'm not trying to make this... That was, what was I saying? Dan, are you um, the hang on. Or not? Dan Riker for president. That's the thing. Is what I'm trying to say is I'm not trying to make this game look confusing. I'm actually playing this and trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. I'm not like trying to prove my point no. by like, oh, where do I go? But I, stupid. I understand, but we're talking about the game the entire yeah, time. And you're also not even looking at the screen when you're skipping these text things. Yeah, just... yeah, yeah, fur and swimming. <laughs> Beans. He teaches you the base <laughs> moves, and then you can go into the castle. And once you actually hit Mumbo's Mountain, that's when it really starts to kick into gear. Okay. Um, well, you didn't have to tell us that. So I'm going to let you know that that this game, I think, objectively looks better than Mario 64. No, yeah, it's more you, muddy. It's way more muddy. No, it's not. No, no. The texture. There's it has more textures? More, but they're textures. muddy and crappy looking. Mario's aged better. There's a honeycomb piece down here, but it doesn't really matter. That's another thing. There's 8,000 different collectibles in this game. Now, I do understand that Where's the, uh, there was like a collect... You don't need the honeycomb piece. I'm just letting you know that there is okay. Oh, no, I'm just... Okay. <laughs> I agree, Are Dan. we going to have to give the controller to Tim? No, no, no. I'm going to move on. Yeah, Dan said he wanted to illustrate how confusing this game is and anyone that's played Banjo-Kazooie through which apparently is also Dan should be tip. Oh, you missed <laughs> you missed uh, one of those boulders by the way to the right. Oh, okay. Um, now is it holding C left and rotate the stick counterclockwise to a do a beaky barge? You can, okay, you do you know, you <laughs> dragon do. punch motion. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's a dragon bear punch, all right? <laughs> It also has the green hair. Hey, what's thing. up, talking honey? I love that the collectibles talk to you. Everything has googly, googly eyes. It's uh, I like that. Collecting Jinjos, I had so much fun doing that. 
I would say are great. the hunt for secrets is better than in Mario 64. But as a, a core game, I thought Mario 64 was better. It was a tighter experience. I gave Banjo a 925, as I pointed out earlier, and Mario a 95. You okay. know what game I think is honestly better than this? Banjo Kazooie Nets and Bolts. I love that. I game. That get... is the the new one on Xbox 360. Where you're building cool like flying contraptions and stuff. Like I really like that game. I played way more of that than I did of this. What if what if a Mario six like let's say the next 3D Mario game had injected like vehicle creation and you ended up driving more than platforming? What, what would you feel about that, Dan? Oh, you're saying that you don't like it as much. I'm just explaining it, it, like how li, li, what that game is to me. Okay, well, you can't judge I a would, game by something that I'm sure that would be awesome. It isn't. You know what I mean? Well, I no, I'm I'm saying what I what I wanted. I haven't played all all of Nuts and Bolts. I didn't review it, but what I'm saying is like, I I, I prefer this classic Banjo Kazooie Banjo Tooie formula to Nuts and Bolts. Also, starting with a big lengthy tutorial with a bunch of text. No, Mario just lets you. Hey, go have fun. I will get absolutely. I, Mario just. Teaches you how to use, you know, the controls and teaches you the control scheme through, you know, just experimentation. And I do, I do like that about Mario. Games. And I think Mario's a more fun character to just control, just walking from place to place, just doing triple jumps and dives and cool little noises and stuff. Like this is, it's, it's better. But Dan, to be clear, you do like this game. I never beat it. I never was compelled enough to beat it. I only, okay. you know, rented it or borrowed it. A couple Are you gonna times. move, Dan? Or I gonna... can't. It keeps telling me this <laughs> mole keeps talking to me. <laughs> Go get Dan That's another balls. thing. No, Dan, okay. I wanna, I'll Mario, you know, I would have three stars by now. I, when I was playing this game for the first time, I wasn't trying to describe why I hated it so much to someone. So, I mean, there's a certain lack of focus when you're trying to talk about it and play it at the same time. So I want to point that out to readers. And that was the same thing that was going with Ben. Ben was, like, practically putting down the controller to talk to me about why he hated it while he was I didn't, playing. I didn't hate it. I just said I was confused by it. And you it was were, a weird thing where Tim Banjo was screaming confusing. at me exactly yeah. where to go. And like, Tim, go here, go here, go here. And then it was the weird scenario where I got into a level... And I said, okay, you've given me all these objectives, now what do I do? And Tim's answer was, you know, just run around and have fun. <laughs> As he's screaming at you and, exactly, like, balling up exactly. his fist and turning red. There's this just is seriously the most contentious, like, mean-spirited, high-tension replay. Yeah. You should have seen done. it at the lake house when alcohol was involved. But, Dan, I'm going to point out, <laughs> in these guys' defense, There's a thing. we went upstairs, we're looking for replay episodes to do, and you're like, oh, let's do Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah, let's do Banjo-Kazooie. You were... So excited. Yeah, and I wanted these guys on here because I want this conversation to be aired and I want to hear feedback from viewers and to see what they think about these things that we're saying. I was mostly just excited to play <laughs> a great game, right? Yeah. It's, you know, I'm not even going to say it's not a great game. I'm just going to say it's not Mario 64. I have not played well, enough of it. Tell us what you think of this game. That's what we're asking. What are you doing? Ben Hansen's grabbing the controller. He's oh, giving it to Tim. Tim. All right, All right. Tim. All right, Tim, I want to see something. Jerry, I do blow my mind here. Jerry, do this one. Tim, the first thing you should do is run around as Kazooie, because that is a wacky, uh, fun animation. I don't know if you have... You learned that in Mumbles Mountain. Oh, so you oh can't remember that part in Mario 64 where you learned the long jump? Oh, no, no, you could just do it, because it was just intuitive just and fun. just Mario a little bit, Dan. Uh. I know we've argued about this in the past, but if you start up Sunshine or any of the Galaxy games, there is an unhealthy amount of crappy tutorials and cutscenes and galaxies. Like, oh, Rosalina has to talk to you for another 45 minutes. Those games are absolutely amazing. Well, the universe is in peril, Ben. We need to know what, what's at stake here. <laughs> I'm just saying, you being like, oh, no f Oh, no effing <laughs> tutorials in Mario. That is not the case. That's true. Mario Galaxy does Again, too much Again, you're getting off, off subject here. That's not an argument with Mario 64 in this game, which is the core of this argument. Mario 64 has Lakitu come down and put a camera in your face, and then you go have fun forever. Well, there's like 15 pages about a cake or something. I don't know no, what's happening. No, she sends you a letter, and I just like, hey, Mario, I baked the cake. And it's like, oh, thanks. And then you go have fun. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Thank you. I was such an idiot kid. I used to rent an N64 with Mario 64, and I had no idea what the structure was. I didn't know that there was a star structure. I thought it was just go into this world and run around for a while and then leave. <laughs> I just treated it like this weird open world game with no objectives, and it was great. I loved it. I rented it like trying to get basis. into a raid or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I want to say I fully endorse these giant carrots with eyeballs. That is a thing that I am fully in the corner of. I like this a lot. Rare likes their eyeballs. That's They're hopping sure. all funny and bouncy. Like that's cool. I'm. Oh, that's funny too. Look, that's like an onion. Is that an onion or a radish or a turnip? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That could be a banana for all I know. What is, is that? I onion? think it's a hyena. Yeah. This is an onion. Okay. Hold on. And it's got googly eyes and it's bouncing around. I like that. Yeah, so what's your favorite rare game for a 64? Oh, come on. You gonna ask that? I'm gonna ask that. You know the answer to that. You tell me the it's answer. It's Goldeneye. Yes, okay. thank you, Tim. All right, there we go. And it's clearly and Goldeneye. Hanson's is uh, Perfect, perfect Dark. Dark. Correct. I but like to be fair... I like Perfect Dark a lot. 
But this first Banjo Kazooie was fantastic. Well, to be fair, Hansen also thought Perfect Dark was an open world game and just ran around that facility at the beginning and never actually started the campaign. It was stunning. That rooftop was great. There's actually missions you can go in. You save an alien guy. I heard and... rumor of a multiplayer. I'm not that interested. <laughs> I just... Oh, yeah, did, wait, hang on. So you're saying Perfect Dark's your favorite Nintendo 64 game? Yes. Didn't you also tell me that you have never played the single player campaign? Yes, absolutely. A perfect Who is this Dark? guy? He's the new Call of Duty player. No, that's That's true. I I think of the best time. Perfect Dark single player. It's not that great. It was tried. It was good. I tried it several times. Maybe back in the day. You go back to it now, especially like the XBLA port, which I think is great. (laughs) It's from I haven't played it to I've played it several times. No, no, no. I've started it several times. Okay, okay. And I just stopped playing it at a certain point. Sometimes I'll jump to a mission in the middle, and it doesn't really (laughs) do it for me. To interrupt you guys before you start throwing punches and (laughs) smacking each other with chairs, uh, I should point out that this game's available on Xbox Live right now. Looks really good, and And it's. The, the textures are remarkable. It does. It, it does look very how, good. How the heck do they do that? Is it HD? Yeah. They just they insert new textures and redo it. So you can make an HD... Well, what's confusing is with the Perfect Dark remake, I know they remade it from the ground up, kind of like what they did for Ocarina of Time for the 3DS. So I'm always confused about which games can be ported or made into HD and which ones can't. Yeah, because it's like they did it with Perfect Dark and... Oh, look at Honeycomb piece. Sorry. I guess it's just the amount of time and money you want to put into it, right? Yeah. And so, so here's another thing. What the hell is this honeycomb thing? What are these dumb things over here? Okay, is, that's, not, is that water? Is that air? Dan, Dan, guess. Okay, that's probably water. That's probably second. breath. Yes, that's probably breath. Yes. Your regular health turned blue. Okay. You've played enough platformers. You know that becomes what, okay, water. Okay. So what the hell's going on with the honeycomb? So have you ever played God of what War? The hell when is you wrong with you? You ever played God of War? What happens when you collect one of the eyes or one of the feathers? Well, it tells you get five of these, and you'll if you get the Gorgon eyes, you'll update your well, health. Or get these, Dan, get the Phoenix you know, feathers. It also tells you as soon as this happens, and it tells tells you the first time you collect one. And if you go to the start menu... Because as I, as I said before, usually you aren't debating the game when you're learning how to play That's it. That's true. I was... Yeah, okay. Dan, so you always claim to be a reasonable person, <laughs> but this is an example of you being unreasonable. That. You're like, oh, what are these blue things when I'm underwater? Her seem to be depleting. What's happening? Oh, gee whiz. It's like you've never played a game before. <laughs> you should have watched Hanson play it. It was some of the, some similar <laughs> stuff. Uh, and I know that Hanson did just try to defend me, so I'm going to alienate him immediately. <laughs> Dan kind of spoke poorly of the controls a little earlier, Tim. I'd controls. like to point out the controls. I didn't say... Oh, oh, the confusing, like, yeah. ZB. I'd like yeah. you to explain what you're doing. Like, the camera shifting's pretty cool. That's there's, fine. There's some decent stuff in this. I feel like the camera is a lot better than, like, Mario 64 and Mario Sunshine. Um, it, it's just... It's simple. Yeah. Um, sh- shifting the angle. You don't really deal with, you know, the, the inward and outward zoom at all. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll agree with you there. The camera's fine. And overall, you know, you're, you're either ha- controlling Banjo or you're augmenting your moves with Kazooie. And it does take some practice. I'll, I'll, I'll agree. You know, it took me time to master the triple jump in Mario or the long jump. But after I got it all, I f- it felt really good. Um, there are a ton of moves. You can spit feathers. You can poop feathers out. You mm. can fly. You can walk on Banjo. You can run around his Banjo. You can roll his Banjo, punch his Banjo. You can also do a you know, beak buster. You can do a flutter attack. You can run on, ban- on Kazooie's legs. There's a lot going on. You can on. shut off the game. <laughs> See, that just sounds confusing. That sounds like almost too much. Because, like, look at even, like, Galaxy and Galaxy 2. Still pretty much the same damn controls as Mario 64, other than, like, shake this if you want to go through a star thing. I think a 3D platformer, I think the best ones are kind of simplified, not like, oh, here's 40 moves in this, you know, 3D platformer. Snow, jump, run, long jump, backflip, cool. Yeah, no, I agree with you, but are you going to fault this game for having too many moves? I mean, it would take you two minutes to learn. I feel like I would need to have, like, a, a sheet in front of me being like, oh, how do I do that thing no, where the, Dan, he puts no, his beak in his armpit no, and then don't. he rolls, no, he does a That's somersault? Or, also, what case. are you going to do? Write it? There's a thing called an instruction manual you could refer to once if you're confused, and that's the end of it. And the lengthy tutorial that we've been complaining about, which yeah. hits you over the head with every single move every step of the way. That's so, Hanson, I want to clear this up for you. <laughs> Hanson, I walked into Gruntilda's castle. I did the first thing I saw, which was climb, like, three steps, get a yeah. Jigsaw puzzle. Right. And I put it into this painting puzzle thing, and oh, I enter yeah. this world, and I go and find more of those things in it, and rinse, lather, repeat, a la Mario sixty four. So you don't jump into the paintings; you just no, it, go up to the paintings. It actually watch what happens. This jigsaw puzzle right there, and those are scattered Hold throughout on. the hub world. There's a few in the hub world. <laughs> oh, what's going on there? That door just opened. I don't even know what that place is called. Oh, is there a map? Is there a way to figure out where the hell that is? It's right behind you. And the camera pans okay. over. Even the paintings just taken from Mario 64. Yeah. It's like, come yeah. on, guys. I mean, yeah, this was, the, this was the second game to attempt or actually execute that Mario 64 
um, formula well. Mm -hmm. I also want to say that you do way more interesting... You, a new, a, a greater variety of things than in Mario 64. And that doesn't just come with collecting more things. Like, you fight this giant, you know, orangutan and, and throw, you know, get him to throw his oranges on these things. And, and it's just it's just stuff that you didn't... There's more variety. And I think mm -hmm. it has more visual variety. I thought Mario 64 was a good-looking game, but I feel like it lacked a sort of unified art style. Like, a Goomba didn't even really look like I thought a Goomba should look in a, in a 3D mm -hmm. world. Or, you know, the, the geometry didn't even look quite didn't have that much personality. It just looked like Mario was placed into this geometric world. Well, he, here's the thing. Let me see if you disagree with me here. I feel that Banjo as a character feels weighted down. I feel like he's just going through molasses all the time. Whereas Mario, you're just fancy free and jumping and having a blast. And like here, I feel like he can jump like a foot and a half. I feel like there's he nothing... has a bird in his backpack that helps him. Mario fly turns and into a man of metal. Well, look like, at this. Look at. And then he also can't jump. Right. That, that jumping a foot and a half thing. You can, uh, let me get another jiggy here. Um, they're adorable. Do your dance. Oh, here's the other great thing, is you can collect ten j you can- Okay. You go in and you collect a star in Mario, right? And it jettisons you the hell out of that level. And right. you go back in, do it again, hope you weren't in the middle of collecting all yeah. 100 coins or whatever, because you're out of there, even if you grab that star accidentally. You can go in, get all 100, 200, um, notes, and all ten jigsaw pieces in one go. I'll give you that. I will give you all that. Right. I'm gonna point this out. The the col the completionist collectathon, I love that in games. I miss it now. The only game that really gives it to me is Skylanders. I don't know if you guys play that, but it's definitely it reminds me of like the Banjos, the mm -hmm. Mario's, the uh, Spyros, and Crash Bandicoots, where you can go in a level like Tim's saying, and look in every nook and cranny to find all the secrets, use all the different powers to get. Um, get 100% in the game. Yeah, like I the wish there was games. more games like this. Now, are you the type of gamer that, like, you play GTA and you need to get every pigeon yeah. or hidden oh, yeah. package? Yep. Yeah. Uh, you know, every photo in, in San Andreas, all that stuff. Okay. If you love uh, the game... Sleeping Dogs, I went for 100%. I got all the cases, all that stuff. Wow. If you love the game, you're going to want to do that stuff, you know? And I think it's when you love the gameplay. You loved GTA's gameplay. You loved yep. Sleeping Dogs, and that's why you did that. And I loved Banjo's gameplay, but then you take a game that has, like, okay gameplay, like, I think... Th th wasn't Donkey Kong 64 kind of divisive? That was super... Oh, yeah. Like, that goes takes Collectathon way right. too it far. It, right? The world was too big. Yeah. That was a really confusing world, Hanson. I thought I never played that. I actually like Donkey Kong 64 better than this. Oh, but come on. You know, did it, you it's not great. Everything? I, I wanted to get things more than I did in this. Yes. Now, can I ask you a question? Just This one's a tough one, but, like, do you think it's because of your love of Donkey Kong as a character? Does that I don't really it? have this huge, like... My favorite Donkey Kong game is the one that came out like a year and a half ago. You know, like I right. like Donkey okay. Kong Country, but I'm not like this crazy Donkey Kong. I don't think of Donkey Kong the way I think of Mario. I was, okay, all right, that's that's a valid point. I want to point out that what I just did by like learning the butt stomp thing, Hanson couldn't figure this out at all. Uh, <laughs> no. He could not figure out that you know, hey, there's these things, and I just learned a butt stomp. There's a little bit more that I just didn't care. <laughs> It was like, yeah, I wouldn't think to butt stomp that hut without any clue that that's what I was supposed to do. But of course, Tim has done this 60,000 times. And it was 4.30 in the morning. I will, I will admit, <laughs> yeah. I have only beaten Banjo-Kazooie once in my life. I've picked it up and played it through halfway again like three or four times, but I've only beaten it all the way through once. Jinjo! Oh, that thing was cute. Yay. Yeah, so there's the five Jinjos in every level that you have to find. And that's another thing I want to point out is... This world is easy to explore. There's some good secrets in it, like like we're pointing out here. Um, it doesn't feel like it's too big or there's too much to do. Like each little world feels like a nice contained absolutely uh, collectathon experience. Well, okay, and Tim, I, I understand what you're saying about how you get the piece, the jigsaw piece, and you just keep moving. That is pretty cool. But I also think it kind of contributes to this feeling of like. I don't know what nice. I'm doing nice. in this game. Yeah. Like, uh, what do these do? Like, I have this. That's probably good. Whereas in Mario, it's like, you get the star. It's like, oh, bam, that's what I was here repeat. for. I came in for the star. I got it. It's nah, the see exact ya. same thing. No. But, you yeah. need puzzle pieces to move on to the next And you talk world. to characters, like that little monkey's like, I need to do this, this, or that. Or also, I want to point out, Mumbo Jumbo is a voodoo doctor that turns you into, like, T-Rexes and termites okay. and alligators throughout the series. Sounds good. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. I think it's charming. I really like the characters and I love the music and there's a lot to love in this game, but I still think going into it now, it's a little bit confusing. If you don't come yeah. to it with the standpoint of, I'm just going to explore and have a good time. Uh, if you come in trying to beat this game in a reasonable amount of time, okay. you're going to be frustrated. Well, I mean, reasonable amount of time. I'm, there is a critical path. There's these, there's tons of gateways, you know. There's, there's gates that say you need to have this many jigsaw pieces. And if you go for the bare minimum, 
you can definitely get away with getting a relatively small amount of jigsaw pieces. You just gotta be want you have to want to explore to find them. Let, let me ask you this. Let's say six months ago you were playing both this and Mario 64. And you haven't played it in six months, but you were several hours into both of them. You pick up Mario 64 six months later, and it's like, oh, okay, let's go. I'll just go jump into a painting and see what stars I haven't got. Here, if you pick it up and turn it on, you're here. It's like, where am I? I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, <laughs> That's a fair complaint because and then the your controls, family dies. The controls are really complex in this. I mean, they are. Like, the, the mechanics you have to use to do certain things. Yeah. But as Hansen pointed out, there's a manual that comes with the game. Yeah. Does it have all of this crap? It, yeah, it's a talent tap, Kazooie squeak. Like, I don't know what any of this crap means. It's fine, squeak. Dan. That's the least of your worries. Don't, don't wage your argument on I can't keep track of six different controls. Dan, you're, games, you're like, good at fighting games. I mean, like, you you are good at, at these kinds of games. You're good at remembering what to do. Also, yeah, the same complaint would be said of Street Fighter games. This mobility, also, by the way, as yeah. soon as you get this, this is a big deal. So suddenly you can pull out Kazooie's legs and, and run around. You're much okay. faster. That's uh, that's funny. I like but that. But there is a the downside of you have to listen to Kazooie make that stupid. No, I, I could hear that all day. I like like the sound, but it reminds me of, of Sunshine when you can do that dolphin skip all over the place. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. You know, a, a platformer with uh, with increased mobility, like in um, Ratch is it Ratchet and Clank Future, where you get like these hover boot things? Yeah, those are awesome. Yeah, yeah, and I, that's one. This is another plus over 64 for me personally. I'm such a huge fan of any platformer that lets me hover after I jump, and this one yep. does that. So I got to give it up for that. But that's, yeah. that's one of the reasons I love Yoshi's Island. Yeah, I was just, yeah. And one more thing I want to point out, some of the original creators that were at Rare are now talking about making another Banjo-like game. Yeah, like that was weird. Reuniting and, and maybe kickstarting or something like that, doing a, uh, a spiritual successor to the series. Did you read that Twitter account? is confusing because they start out like, hey, give us money. And then a day later, they're like, maybe we should do a Kickstarter or something. It just seems very scattered. It seems like two ex-developers being like, we want to make this game <laughs> and we're just going to hope somebody sends us a wad of cash. Can Joe Bazooie. And I guess they have the composer on board. Same composer as Perfect oh. Dark and Goldeneye, by the way. Yeah, the, the music in this game is wonderful. You know, I, I wouldn't say that it's on par with Mario 64, but I'd say that it's it's uh, in the same ballpark. What's going on with that spinny totem pole thing? And this big pineapple. You, you, uh, I think you cough eggs into it, and then they, they disappear. Oh, naturally. Uh, anybody, that's intuitive. No, that's... <laughs> I, I'm just trolling oh, okay. at this You're point. You're trolling yeah. me. Yeah. So <laughs> you 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 dilute your argument with trolling Dan. Just that time. Okay. Everything else, I I'm pretty adamant about. There was yeah, there was no hyperbole at all. You know, yeah, really. Yeah. But you know what's fun was uh Dan when you and I went on the Fuse cover story trip. Yes. For the upcoming month here. Yes. Uh, I got to talk to Ted Price when you were playing the game. I did a long interview with him. We talked about uh, Spiral quite a bit. It's one of my favorite games. And just talking to him about the influence of Mario 64, and he was talking about when they got that game into the office, everyone was just obsessed. And everyone in Insomniac, which was like, you know, five people at the time, or ten people, or whatever, they just went around and studied everything about that game, and just declared it a masterpiece. Oh, yeah. And they talked a lot about just how the basic act of funning, of running around in that game is fun. And funning around. It's, I, yeah, funning around is even... I did a lot of fun. Some, yeah. Some farting. Dorkin. Well, I'm going to make an executive decision here, and I'm going to say next week's replay, we're going to take a look at uh, uh, Donkey Kong 64. Have you ever played that game? We're going to continue this discussion with the same crew here, and we're going to take a look at that. That sounds very interesting. Oh, yeah, you got to get... Look at this. You got, have we done Mario? 64, yeah, yeah. that was our 100th episode. Mm -hmm. or, yeah, 100th, right? Yeah. you got to bring him an, an orange, and he's like, thank you so much, Banjo. You have such a kind heart. There was an Italian plumber that came through here earlier. And he just jumped on my head. Oh, wait, he said that? Yeah. What? No, he didn't actually say that at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not a racist monkey. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually almost done with Mumbo's Mountain. How would you know that, though? Mario, you could pause, and it would say, oh, you... Dan just moved away from his microphone, ashamed. Uh, looking the fool. This music's a really perfect the for the way I'm looking that he at right now. Let's end it right there with Tim glaring at, at Dan. Uh... I wish I could have this painting on my wall in my office. Let's move on to a new stress test. Okay, everyone, welcome back to uh, Stress Test. We're going to do this again with something. This is certainly not an official game. This is a little new thing that we haven't done before. I found this years ago. I think I was in college. Some YouTube video of, you guys might have seen the videos where it's like people doing custom Mario levels that are impossible to beat. And then I just got linked to this game, which I found some weird link from some Japanese site, and it was labeled as Cat Mario Impossible when I downloaded it. This is it. I've 
tried playing this many times over the years. I, uh, I Tim's seen a little bit of it before, but we're going to see how far he can get in, I guess we'll just call it Cat Mario Impossible. So and This it, thing's Tim. been out for, like you said, a while. Like, yep. Everybody's seen it, but um, Tim has not for some reason, and uh, we'll see how he does. And it's just arrow keys, so it's not, not exactly as tightly wound as Mario. Tim's being strategic right off the bat here. And the rules of stress This is going to kill me. Oh, it just screws <laughs> up there. Dan, why don't we discuss the rules of stress test and how far we're going to go here? Well, do we just, I mean, is it see how far we can get or are we, we, we going to go for goal, the... Like the okay. end of the first world? <laughs> no, no I, I've been able to beat this first area, like to get past the flagpole, like the end of, okay, so huh. that happens. I think he should try to beat the second level after this, because I've never seen the end of the second level. Okay. So let, let's shoot for that. Okay. Tim, are you okay with this? Sure. All right, you look like a man possessed right now, which is the classic Tim Turry okay, face. I'm, uh... <laughs> I'm very intrigued by this. Got another one in there? <laughs> so that's the whole thing with this, is that everything is going to kill you, or screw you over in some terrible way. I love how the legs aren't Actually, animated, but the arms are just animated to have a little wiggle when he walks for yeah. some reason. So Tim, you're, you're being safe here, but show people what would happen if you did the natural no, thing no, over no. that gap. No, no, just let him play the way he wants to All play. Right. Is that good? I wouldn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> And there actually are checkpoints. He hasn't hit one yet, but they are there. This isn't randomized, right? No, no, no. This is the exact same thing every time. Is this a prequel to Dark Souls? I believe so, yeah. Okay. It's pretty close in terms of how brutal. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That's the one. I okay. love it. <laughs> Negative one. That's good. So this is unlimited lives. Yeah. Okay. It's almost just a jolt to your system because things that would never happen in a yeah. Mario game happen. Yeah. Wait, what? That's or, not how that works. Or any game, really. <laughs> yeah. For good reason. It's also installing a virus slowly in your computer the entire time for <laughs> the ultimate F you. It's sleeping with your wife. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, so we've already seen there's a death mushroom Cat there. Cat Impossible is sleeping with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that thing comes down. More of those come? <laughs> I don't know. All right. That, that I don't trust that cloud. It ah. looks nice. Okay. Okay, I think that's a checkpoint. Is there's that checkpoints a in this game? Turtle ghost? <laughs> and you can jump on enemies. You can kill enemies by jumping on no, them. No, I'm not interested. I don't trust this game. This looks dangerous coming up. Oh, Tim, no! All right. <laughs> I was expecting that just to explode. I think it's safe. It's good to go. Oh, go down the pipe. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Trap him. Oh! Yes! Oh! Yes! <laughs> Oh, that's, that's delightful. That's cold-blooded. <laughs> that is cold-blooded. <laughs> the best way here is to run underneath. If you get that middle uh, question mark, it's really good. Those little... Oh, my oh, God. That's why you want to do I don't that. know what's in the middle question mark. Uh, <laughs> probably no one does. <laughs> Those trees remind me of that V6 game, Tim. That I was screaming oh, at yeah. you forever to get. Which I started playing, did. which is interesting because I'm controlling this the same way. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing, Tim? Uh, uh, he's dying. Are you talking? Oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, oh, because like V6, I play it with the uh, left and right and then uh, up on the um, on the arrow keys. And that's exactly how I'm playing this. So it's kind of... Oh, I thought you got it on 3DS. No, no. I d downloaded it on uh, PC. Oh, okay. All right. Wait a second. What? Be, how do you I make like that the way jump? Tim's going about all this. He's being very cautious, yeah. which is... Yeah. Nice. Oh, okay. I don't trust that tube. Don't trust anything. I'll go with the tube. This is like the first Mission Impossible. <laughs> Another guy jumping out of there? I'd put one in there. But it, something happens at the end here. Oh, yeah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> They're so happy to be killing Tim, me. Tim, do me a favor, because you, you missed it last time, I think, because you've seen it before. But uh, jump into that cloud before that. Which one? That later. Before that? Okay. Like, right before where you were. That cloud there. You just normal jump. <laughs> 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 This is a whole cloud. Oh, this is great. <laughs> I hope the new Super Mario Brothers 2 DLC <laughs> is like this. Tim is making good time here, though. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, the second level is where none of us really know anything about it. So. I think we is go it underground? further than that. Well, you think what? I can't, I'm going to do the first world. I can't promise I anything. I, I'd love to watch it. This is a stress test. Yeah, that's true. Battletoads went a long time. Let's just let this roll. A single bead is dropping down Tim's forehead. I'm fine. Okay. It's still just hot in here from Rats. screaming at each other about Banjo Kazooie. It's true. <laughs> I love the super crappy Mario tune. It's like they just recorded it off their TV. Yeah, what for is death this? music? <laughs> I like this music. Dun dun dun. Motivates me. What's in that question mark? I wonder if there's a single power up that's good for you in this game. 
What are you doing, Tim? Oh, okay. Let's okay. check wow. it out. Hey, Good. Look at that. that. We'll get you an extra right. life. Don't do this. Ah! Okay. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh! Look out! <laughs> oh. oh. All right. So what's the coup, what's the coup de gras don't, here? Don't don't. Oh! oh, oh cool. uh, what was that uh, thing? Uh, Laser. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, that's good. No. You Wait. were controlling it? There's some trick there, and I can't remember if you have to jump over the flagpole or if you need to. Because that was automatically moving, right, Tim? I think so. So, yeah, I think if you trigger that, you're just screwed. So maybe you have to jump over it. Man, I alive. jumped pretty high off that flagpole. You did. So let's see. This just screws with every conception you have about how these games work. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, what do we do here? I would. Uh oh. Can you run, like, through the block? Hold down. I think you have to jump over the flagpole. What? I think if you trigger that thing... Okay, or can you move after this? Yeah. Get out of there! I no. know. Tim, I think the, o the only thing you can do, I think, is jump Wait, over the flagpole. Wait, is that thing a platform that's gunning towards me? That that yellow thing? Oh, and you have to time no, it? No, that's a laser. That's a laser beam that's that murders you. That's a flag you. laser. <laughs> oh, flag laser. <laughs> I think they have one of those on Iwo Jima. Do you think if somebody made a, a legitimate, like if a developer made something like this From and put software. it on XBLA? Yeah, just some crazy developer with time on their hands. Well, I mean, well, Super Meat Boy is pretty brutal. I, I, mean, I want to still... be the guy. Oh, I want to be the guy is kind of one of those. V v6 or, or VVVVVV. Do people call it just V6? I but... call it V6. i never heard anybody else do it. I need it, to know if people It's call easier it to call it that. I can't just start calling it what you call it. But does that game just <laughs> troll you like this one does? Not quite as much. <laughs> uh, <sighs> Well, actually, on the Whammo. on the Wii U, one of the first uh, eShop games on the Wii U is labeled as the most difficult platformer ever created. That's how it was originally pitched really? when they're getting funding for it. And I saw a video of it, and it is unbelievable. It's called something Kingdom. I'll look it up, but it's just a wall of lasers with one tiny path to go through it. It looks great. Uh, I think you have to like jump and then trigger them, and then before you land, maybe you readjust your. That's, I've been I've been trying to do that. Once. Yeah. Twice. This um, is not easy. So the rules of stress test, Tim, obviously you know if you want to tap out at any point, you can. I, I say we set it at beating the second world. I say that's what the official goal is, beating the second world. We'll see how long that takes. Yeah, yeah. yeah Battletoad took a long time. Cloudberry Kingdom is the name of that platform. It's going for the Cloudberry or Cloudberry? Cloudberry. Cloudberry. Cloudberry Kingdom. Captain Cloudberry. By the way, that V6 game, one of my favorite <laughs> stories about it is it was in my top 10 for... Uh, 2010 when it came out. Hang on, hang on. on. Oh god. Hang on. Cloud laser! Oh! <laughs> it was a late jump. I jumped okay. earlier last time. Okay. Can you do it? Can you juke the laser and then do it? Oh, good question. Okay. Anyway, sorry, Hanson. Oh, so anyways, I had that uh, game that was just VVV, VVV in my top 10 list. And I was relatively new towards the end of 2010. And I remember Kato came up to me and he's like, Hey, Ben, I looked at your top 10 list. Were you trying to spell Civ 5? <laughs> and like, he just thought that was such a wild moron. I could not figure out how to spell Civ 5 and just typed <laughs> V's six times. <laughs> uh, yes! Yeah! Yes! Wait. Wait. Oh, can you no. go in? You, okay, yeah. Here's where, <laughs> this is pretty much uncharted territory at this point. <laughs> go in the hut. Go in the hut. I would say hut. But this game would, this game's such a jerk, it's probably just fall down the hole. Can you not? Oh, oh, jump. Okay, I think just fall down. One. Or can you no, run to the don't right? Don't fall down. Wait. <laughs> jump it. I think it's just down. That's that's what I would do. <laughs> well, you can take solace in the fact the that that's what Dan would have done. Wait, wait what the hell are you supposed to do? Rats. Wait, what the hell do you Is do there? Is there just one level? No, there's a second level. And you pressed up in that doorway? Can you jump on top of it? Yeah, we're going to have to mess around. I mean, this is one of those games where every time you figure out one of the tricks, it's fairly easy to get past it. Mega Man. So, let's figure it out. All right, flag laser. This scares me. Oh! oh! Okay. You're all way more on edge than I am. Okay. Oh! oh! Let's figure this out. Those orange blocks? What are those? Do you, do you go to the flag now that you've triggered that thing? Oh. Yeah. Come on, baby. Yes. Yeah. Good call. All yes. Right. All right. Dan, you're a genius. Don't let anybody make fun of you ever again. I'm smart. <laughs> Except when you make fun of him. Well, he's a complete ball. Wait. Yeah. What is that? Oh, okay. Wait, oh, is that... oh, yeah. No, that... Okay. Yeah. I wish <laughs> that was just like the skull and crossbones from the end of Independence Day. <laughs> what? Do I have to go up there, too? <laughs> <laughs> first level. First level. First level. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny. 
So which one? What does that speaker box do? I, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what that says. Somebody, if you speak Japanese, please post yeah. what that says in the comments. Yeah, this is it again. That there. What is it asking us? Okay. And... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Is this the second level, or is this just the entrance to the second I level? I think this is the entrance to the second oh level. Alright, go down there, Tim. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> kitty ate that bad mushroom. Bad kitty. Bad trip. Uh, I like how you're just going to negative lives. Oh, nice. Okay, alright. Nice. Okay! Okay, this is it! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That is Genius. good. What is this music? I love this music. Okay, so this is all new to me, and I've I've seen that first thing so many times. Man, I'm on edge. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Avoid the third one. This is the best. I wonder if Jim would like this game. <laughs> oh. Ugh. This should be a super replay. <laughs> oh God. They're gonna make the third one spikes again. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> you can just never be comfortable in this game. Okay, yeah, take the secret Ooh. route. It's clearly the way to go. I don't think anything could go wrong. Oh, not according to this music. Actually, that really did good. totally work. I do like this music. You can't pass that. Pass! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, come on. Nice. That's a nice touch. That's good. Okay. <laughs> oh, he got what the oh. way. No! What the hell is that? Just have spikes on its head? <laughs> oh my god! It's your mother! <laughs> Pedo cat. <laughs> well, kitty. Just immediately fall through the ground. <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay, spike guy, cat. Does cat come out of the pipe or the hole? He can he jump he jumps over it, I think. Oh my uh, Whoa! What? Okay, checkpoint, checkpoint. I give you like an alley oop. Is this checkpoint. a fake checkpoint? <sighs> All right. That's <laughs> surely better than that banjo music. What are those blocks? Are they just going to fall on your head? Clearly. Or the ones right before it are. It's going to do something. Okay. Ah, oh, oh, yeah! Yeah! I was you saw, I was ready for that. Yeah, there's clearly a twist. <laughs> All right, run. Run, you oh, no, 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 no. Right okay. Uh, I got this. No problem. All right. Trigger it. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, you can't touch the side. Oh, no, of it. no. Oh, my God. And the trigger's one in, too, just to F with you. Oh, God. And you can't just clear it and go forward, right? Oh, ah! God. It's trying to jump a little over it. It's fine. It's okay. All right. Tim, are you feeling up for the challenge? Can you make it past this one? Yeah. You can do it. What if he doesn't, Dan? Oh, God. Uh, I think he should be able to just run yeah, over right. instead of jump. I'm just doing my thing. Okay. Run, 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 run. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You see, if you go, if you try to go the pace of the level, um, you can't play by the level's rules. So don't jump. Just go back. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh yes! Oh, yes! That's good. That's good. It's really good. Oh, my God. You just need to jump back completely, or what do you do? That's, are you kidding? There's no way back. <laughs> I, I know, I know what to do. Uh, it's brilliant. <laughs> is it turn this game off? No. Nah. Oh. This game's well done. <laughs> it actually is, for what it's trying to do. Well played. Oh. I gotta jump sooner. Over it. Yeah. I gotta jump sooner. Okay. Uh, do you guys like this when platformers just come down to memorization? I love it. Yeah. Is that the Makes soul me feel of a smart. good platformer? There's still skill involved. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh. That's right. And this this yeah. game's... It's funny. You know what I mean? It mm -hmm. gives good humor. I would love to have you level design ever, but yeah. uh, that's pretty uh, sure. oh, oh, early. Yeah. I'm just like so focused on doing that first part. I'd love to find out if anyone knows the story of where this came from or who made it or when or like if only I some don't... entity known as the internet could tell us. I... It's hard enough just to Google like to find this to download. Like this is a tricky <laughs> thing. Everything's Japanese. That's true. Look <laughs> how Tim doesn't even want it. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I wasn't really interested. Is there? That. So that was invincibility, but it just flies away so quick you can never get it. That's the idea. I think, I think so. That's, wait, Don't. does that kill him? Oh, oh nice! <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Just plummet through the entire world. 
<laughs> and that's right. Okay. <laughs> well, this game's making me smile, so it's got that going for it. <laughs> What? Oh, what happened there? Too busy singing. That's what was happening there, too. This almost sounds like Banjo Kazooie music. No. No? A little horn stuff going on? No. Okay. It's got a horn. <laughs> Instruments. So, sounds like seven notes they're using. So, wait, if you let. What happens if you let the mushroom fall onto that guy? You just gotta wait for oh. this thing to get all the way here. Well, I'm thinking, what if the mushroom kills that thing? So, if he lets He'll it slide grow big over. and fall through? Let's see. That's a slow mushroom. You gotta time oh, the mushroom so you can. Oh yeah, yeah that's it, Dan. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Let me get that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good luck. Just Piece of cake. jump against the wall and hold, or just that. Ooh, okay. Yeah, wall nice. jump it. Says Dan. <laughs> and slide. Down. What's right. that? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a gobstopper. It's gonna be good. I promise. <laughs> not really interested. Come what on, the come going on, on here. here. You're not gonna get it, Tim. You have to. Oh, it's not the prize. <laughs> 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 Perfect. The look right, on Tim. Tim's face. Just defeat. <laughs> Siberia all over again. This is hilarious. <laughs> if you made it through this in one jump, he's not making it here. I will give you my personal bill right now. Lord and Savior. Okay. Oh. I cleared halfway up. Yeah, yeah he did. He did. Okay. okay. <laughs> this isn't so bad. This isn't so bad. No, it's the thing. Every time you learn one of these tricks, it gets easier. Dan, what do you think the toughest platformer you've ever played is? <laughs> to get everything, Meat I think Boy? Donkey Kong Country Returns is up there. Oh, like above Meat Boy as far as Dark World. Oh, Meat Boy is pretty damn tough. Oh, what the hell? It's got sunglasses. It yes! just kills you. Yes. <laughs> Why did it happen that way that time? I guess uh, the order you collect them in. We got this. Wait, we got this. All right, all right. Okay. Okay, feed him so, the it's a weird timing thing. You want it to fall when he's over on the left? Yeah, when he's on his way back. Oh, God. Oh, God. Does he get oh, that? Oh, is he going to get it? Oh, God. Oh, it's going oh, right God. for oh, God. <laughs> Get out of there! <laughs> Why does it just hop around sometimes? It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Hey, this game's illogical. <laughs> Actually, so no, this game like, we try it all the way over here. Okay, we did so it, it all the, the way to the left. Okay, so that's perfect. All all right. That'll do. Yeah, that will certainly do. Tim, I'm don't proud of you. Hit the death ball. <laughs> yeah, we'll death ball bad. Do what I was gonna do the first time and skip <laughs> entirely. Okay. Bloop. Bloop. Oh god. Ah! Okay. What's the trick oh, here? Oh no. <clears throat> they fall. Watch. They go real fast. Yeah. Oh! Okay. Dan, you are good at this game. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. No. Oh my god. I mean, god. we gotta go for the secret exit, right? I mean, no. It's gonna no. do something clever. Reiner, I propose we do see what the next level is after this. Can we do I know it's a little long, but stress test goes a little long. We'll see well, they, what the next level is. Okay. But Tim's such a champ on these. Oh, we I get know. other people on stress test. Tim will be here until 2 o'clock in the morning playing this game. Uh, Tim, where does your passion come from? Where does your intensity come from? I like it when someone tells me I can't do something, and then I do it. Only as it relates to games? Yeah, I don't screw this. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Um, no, do you I, study I, for a test with this crazy, intense look in your eye? No, I don't know what it is about these games. I, I think, honestly, a big part of it is like... Hmm? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm focusing on talking. But uh, I, I don't know. It's probably these super replays and stuff. Just These games that no one would ever want to touch off. and turn it off. It's just, just a novelty to it for me. I hit your toe, your cat toe. Yeah. yeah I think Siberia is... The greatest stress test we've ever done. The game sucks. It is a long <laughs> stress test. <clears throat> oh, Siberia 2, we'll be doing that super replay next year. Yeah, you announced <laughs> it on the live stream? Kinda. I heard. Mm -hmm. I heard Legend. Mm. And this year it's still Blue Stinger, correct? Blue yeah. Stinger is our December 31st Eve. ring in the new year with yeah. a crappy game super replay. I All can't right. wait to go back to that one because most of it was lost due to the crappy recording technology back then. Yeah. So there's a ton of funny stuff even in the beginning that people haven't oh, seen man. yet. You're really going for the secret exit. Yeah, I want to see what they're going to do to me. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh. It's real. Yeah! Oh no. Oh, wow. <laughs> does it just send you back? Yeah, it does. Oh, that's <laughs> good. That is good. Well, the stress test was to beat the second world. Well, it looks yeah, like we're going right. back. I mean, I think he did it. <laughs> it just kills you. <laughs> I think I'm going back. Oh, no. Oh, okay. 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 So let's go through the real exit. All right. 
as much as I love Donkey Kong Returns going through it for the first time, I went back to that game recently, <clears> and after playing Rayman, it just feels soul crushing. And Rayman's a tough game, but going back to Donkey Kong, just having lives thrown back into the mix. I love it. I it love gets both games. Demoralizing. They're both incredible games. Don't you agree that there'd be better games, like including the 2D Mario games, if there were no lives? Ooh, it's just the Rayman style of just infinite lives, but still really challenging. It's hard to say because. I think Mario World struck the balance pretty well because it had lives, but it never like totally screwed you over. And it's like, well, I guess I got to start the whole game over again. Yeah, you know, getting to ghost houses and, and fortresses to save your progress. I like that. I guess so. But yeah. even with Donkey Kong, don't you find yourself scraping the bottom constantly? And then it's like, oh, every five no. tries, I go back. To the no, beginning. no, no. Donkey Kong had like a hundred something lives. Really? Yeah. How are you guys so good at these games? Hanson, you're really bad at games. Oh, I am horrifically this. bad at everything but music games. <laughs> and even those. And text adventures. I'm wicked good at text Jump. adventure games. Oh my! Okay. All right, let's get in there. Let's see what happens. Oh god. Okay. Oh. Okay, crap. Oh. <laughs> that crap. cloud is looking mighty fishy. I'm just gonna do the sun thing. Oh, oh no! no! Papa! <laughs> What's he doing down there? <laughs> Strutting. <laughs> the, guy, the guy in Amagon. Meow. It's oh. the guy in Amagon. <laughs> Amagon references. <laughs> They wouldn't do the flag layers or twice. No, no. Something else is going to happen. You're going to get electrocuted <clears throat> or something. Oh, God. Okay. Ah! <laughs> what? The you other, jump over two? I got squashed by the, the flagpoles. <laughs> uh, wait, there's a hole. What? Stay Where? down. Where's the hole? If you... Oh, man. that's Hang on. Never mind. It's just a step down. But I wonder if you... Hang on, can you lure the guy or something? What happens if you jump down before it? Yeah, can you lure the flag? <laughs> <laughs> but see, if you're hiding right at the lip there, would it jump over your head? But even if it is, I don't know if that would help you. Man, I feel like it's gotta be something with the bigger cat, since he doesn't really pose a threat. Oh, know? like ride the cat or something? Well, like, remember how last time he kind of launched him when he hit the side of him? Oh. Go talk to that cat. All right. Well, how's that gonna do anything? Well, you know, that's not that's really what's important. <laughs> what if you just barely jump up on that flag? Just thinking about that. Celebration's small, uh, shorter. <gasps> oh! Do you ride no. the flag? I can do that. No problem. <laughs> just a Man. death flag. Ride the flag. This, this is going to really suck if that's not the last challenge here, because then you're going to do it every time. All right. Uh, yeah. I missed. Isn't there an SNL uh, parody commercial about riding the snake? Uh, like it's a Jim work? Carrey infomercial where it's like steroids or something, okay. and he's, yeah, ride the snake. Yes! Oh, he did it. That did was he? not bad. Did he do it? <clears throat> now you can probably just... Wait. Is he gonna crush me here? You're good. Oh my god. Holy crap, Tim. I couldn't have done without you guys. Do we... What's that do? Just what? click just that. Get that. Just Whoa, get that. Oh. Fire... Okay. Uh, of course. Uh, I was hoping you burst into flames flowers, or something. Let's see what the green uh, I just want to keep seeing what this game throws at you. <laughs> <laughs> Join him in the pit. <laughs> All in. Uh, All right. I think that's a that's no, a good look at this crappy no. game. Right? Nice job, Tim. Thanks. Again, you are uh, a rock when it comes to stress tests. This is fun. Here's Thanks another for watching, trend. everyone. We'll see you next week on replay for Donkey Kong 64. What are you supposed to do here? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.